This video is on doing a compression test on your engine. Um, this is a great process to do if you're uh, going through some oil, um, not sure what the problem is, uh, this is probably one of the first places to start troubleshooting that. Uh, you're going to need a compression gauge. I got this at uh, one of the uh, aftermarket vehicle stores. I think this was like about $50. And of course the manual for the particular vehicle uh, always get this, read over the procedure, and uh, the procedure in this case tells me to warm up the vehicle to operating temperature. I've done that, uh, and actually before you do that, check and make sure that you got uh, your oil uh, level is uh, full, which mine is. So at this point, I got the compression gauge, and the manual also tells me to disable the ignition system because you don't want to be doing this. Uh, and your engine coming on. So uh, in this case here, as I say, reference the manual. This is how you disable the ignition system for this vehicle. So it won't actually start while you're doing this. And uh, then what we're going to do is remove the spark plugs. This one I already had off. So what you want to do is just turn these. You don't want to break these spark plug wires. Just kind of turn them. The boot itself goes down into the engine. And then we'll uh, put the extension in the socket down here and uh, remove the spark plug. Once we get the spark plug out, and I have a video for uh, how to change your spark plugs, you can reference that if you want. But after we get the spark plug out, then we'll be threading this into the spark plug hole and uh, turning the vehicle over and getting the reading on the gauge. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I referenced the manual for this vehicle and to do a compression test, it tells me that uh, you want to take all the spark plugs off for this procedure. All the spark plug wires, I should say. So the spark plugs are in the engine, all the wires are off. Make sure you take, I don't know if you can see this or not, but where my finger is there, I've taken a little bit of duct tape and marked one, two, three, four for across in this particular engine this is the cylinders are one two three four because you don't want to get these mixed up so whatever you do designate these wires and mark them so you don't get your plug wires mixed up when you go put, to put them back on because that's going to cause a lot of grief so once you've marked them as per the procedure in the Haynes manual I've removed all of the plug wires and uh, then I've screwed this compression gauge into the first cylinder, just tan tight like that. That's pretty tight. I took the gauge itself off because it was easier to put it in like that way. So this particular gauge, just pull it back, pop it on. Let's do that again. There we go. So that's tight now. So now what's going to happen is we're going to turn the engine over for five seconds. It's not going to start but we'll see a reading go up on our gauge. So that'll be the next thing we'll do. Okay, so my assistant is in the vehicle. Uh, as per the manual, he's got his foot on the exhilarator down to the floor. And uh, when I give him the word, he's going to try to crank this over. So we're watching the compression gauge here. And he's going to hold it for about approximately five seconds. So uh, you can go ahead and try to turn that over. Okay, so that worked out good. You can see that the compression has gone up to about 180 PSI. So uh, I'm, it doesn't really say this in the book, but uh, I've done this before. I like to keep it, I'll just leave that set there for a minute or two just to see if it drops. But uh, that's good compression for, uh, for this uh, vehicle. So it uh, looks like this cylinder is probably okay. Okay, so I've waited a couple of minutes. Uh, pressure is still up almost to 180 PSI. So this cylinder seems to be fine. I'll just hit the little button on the side of the gauge. Release the pressure. I'll take the gauge out of here. Put the spark plug back into this cylinder. And I'll just continue on with this procedure for the other three cylinders. That's basically it for uh, doing a compression test.